this video we'll be solving example 2.1. Example 2.1 reads this way. A football player backpedals at 3 meters per second before reversing course in 720 milliseconds to run forward at 6 meters per second. What is the player's average acceleration during the change in direction? Give both magnitude and direction. So the football player starts off, uh, he's running backwards, and then he turns around so that he's running forward, and that happens in 720 milliseconds. You're asked to find an average acceleration. We know that average acceleration is a change in velocity divided by the time that it took to change the velocity. So V1 would be some initial velocity, V2 would be a final velocity. And if we're going to assign these velocities, we're going to have to know something about the direction. You're told at the start that he's running backwards, and you're told at the end he's running forwards, and that's going to be important when we plug into this equation. So let's define that running forwards means positive, just as an arbitrary choice. What this means is that at the start, his initial velocity, which you're given as 3 meters per second, that is a backpedaling velocity. So that means he's running backwards at 3 meters per second, and that means we're going to have to give that a negative sign. At the end, he's running forwards at 6 meters per second, and running forwards is positive, so we'll just leave that as a positive 6 meters per second. The time that it takes to change the velocity, that is given to you as 720 milliseconds. So we would have to convert those milliseconds to seconds so that they fit into this equation where velocities are given in meters per second, not meters per millisecond. So what we'll do there is just rewrite this as 0 0.720 seconds. That's the conversion of milliseconds to seconds because there are a thousand milliseconds in one second. So all we would need to do at this point to find the average acceleration is to write that average acceleration in terms of the ending velocity, which is 6, minus the starting velocity, which is negative 3, all over the time that it took to change the velocity, which is 0 0.720. Now, I'm not writing the units in this equation. I think that sometimes that makes the computations a little bit confused. But if you like to write the units in, you can do that. So what we'll do is we'll go to the calculator, and we're going to calculate 6 minus and minus 3 is 9, divided by 0 0.72. So I say 9 divided by 0.72, and I get 12.5. So my average acceleration equals 12.5. Now the units should come out in, this should be meters per second divided by seconds, or meters per second per second, or meters per second squared. And it came out positive, so that meant that this is going to be a forward acceleration. And that is how we solve example 2.1.